Well, here behind me, the UMass women's swimming and diving team is hard at work getting ready for the upcoming Atlantic 10 championships. And one of the leaders of that team, senior Amina Miho, nearly competed in the London Summer Olympics last year. It got complicated, though. A very interesting story, as reported by Cody Cruchel. All Mohamed Miho wanted was for his daughter Amina to have the same opportunity he had to represent Lebanon in the Olympics. Her time was good, qualifying was good, but the Olympic Committee, I think politics involved, and because we don't live in that country, the Lebanese Committee decided they don't want to. Amina, a senior on the UMass swimming team, was born in Massachusetts. She holds dual citizenship, which allowed her to compete for Lebanon in the 2009 World Championships in Rome. Amina's father, Mohammed, swam breaststroke for Lebanon in the 1972 Olympics. And until this past June, when her father received an email from her former coach, Amina thought she was heading to London to swim in the 2012 Olympics. I was the strongest girl they had, so I was thinking, who else would go? I mean, it was, it was common sense to us that I was going. They told me I had to make the specific time in a meet, and I, I ended up doing that. And so we sent back the results. They were like, great, that's awesome, you did great. Then a couple weeks later, they sent my father and I this email like, oh, we decided we changed the regulations and we need her to swim better than my best time I, I've ever swam in my life. She had one final chance to get that time at an event at MIT. But after spending two weeks out of the pool to rest, Amina fell well short of the time the Lebanese committee was demanding. Swimming is all about times. If you make a time, you do things. Well, this was subjective, and that's really hard to take when there were times out there that we could have been working on to, to achieve. To me, what shock was very, I was very upset. To me, was very upset, because uh, where we come from, and I have fam family in, in London. They were waiting for her. I have family from Lebanon. They want to travel with her. So we were a little bit upset. I was a little bit more upset than her. While she hasn't ruled out a run at the 2016 Olympics, the ordeal has given Amina a greater appreciation for what she has at UMass. I, I was like, you know what? I don't, I'm just gonna move on. I have my senior year left. I can swim fast there. I can swim fast anywhere I want. It's not just the Olympics. Yeah, it's a great experience, but you know what? I've been to world championships and that's pretty much the same feel it's just, it happens, world champs happens every year and the Olympics is just, it's just the name. She could have easily said, oh, this is, this is it's just too disappointing. I'm just not going to do anything, but that's not in her personality. So she's, she has, she has come back and, and really been a good uh, leader again this year. My goal of this year was to get the 100 free record. And I know Zoe got it at the beginning of the year and she set it real low, but I still think my mind's going to be in the right place at around A-10s, and I'm going to be like, you know, it's my senior year, like, I want to go out and have people remember, like, me. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel.